Happy Thursday, everyone. I'm Dr. Lena Haji, licensed clinical psychologist. I don't have a trendy term to discuss today, but I did want to address a question that was asked by a loyal follower who's doing great work, who shall remain anonymous. And that question has to do with death row inmates receiving mental and medical health care in spite of the fact that they are going to be put to death and specifically in regard to suicide. So this is a very complex question. I'm going to oversimplify and it's all governed by laws. So the question was, if an inmate on death row expresses a desire to commit suicide or refuses medical care um, and wants to die by natural causes, why are we continuing to provide mental health care and implementing suicide precautions if we're going to ultimately kill them anyway? Great question. So inmates on death row are still required to receive medical and mental health care just like any other inmate. And so if they express suicidal ideation or a desire to die, they're going to be put on suicide precautions. In terms of medical care, they still have right to medical care. So some of these inmates receive great expensive surgeries and procedures, and it's all a little bit kind of backwards because we're saving them medically, we're saving them mentally, saving quote unquote, when ultimately they're going to be put to death, we are going to kill them. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this kind of backwards idea that we provide death row inmates medical and mental health care, but don't allow them to commit suicide or end their life any other way.